doing today. It is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be making a funky bow topper for my Then Sings My Soul lantern. This lantern is very special to me not because of the lantern but because of the Then Sings My Soul that you'll see in a minute here that my cousin Stacy created with her Cricut uh, for me. Uh, for me to go on this lantern. This lantern will always be in my house somewhere in some capacity because I just absolutely love what she did and that she did it for me, very special to me. So as you can see, it's red. And as you all know, I've been infusing just a bit of red into the kitchen, but I still wanna keep the navy blue theme going too. So as you can see, I've got a Pioneer Woman plate there flanked by two red candles on red candlesticks. And I'm gonna keep that there. But my funky bow, as you saw, if you saw me cutting my ribbon, is going to be a blue, navy blue with a navy blue and red floral ribbon. I'm only gonna be using the two ribbons in this. I'm gonna make a 12 loop funky bow, but just with two ribbons. So this might be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing me do. If you would like to skip me doing my bow tutorial, you can go to minute mark this, and at that point, I will be ready to start putting it on the lantern and making it into a topper. In other words, adding a few florals, making it into a bit of a swag topper type thing. So again, if you would like to skip the bow tutorial, I know you've seen a lot of them in this series, please skip to forward your, your video to minute mark this, and you can just go to where I start making the lantern. But if you wanna see me do the bow tutorial, stick around here. I'm gonna turn my camera around and we're gonna get started doing a 12 loop funky bow tutorial made out of two ribbons. All right, be right back in just a second when I get myself set up and ready to create okay, a ribbon. Okay, here I am back, getting ready to get started on making a funky bow. 12 loop funky bow using two different types of ribbon. Both are wired ribbon. I highly recommend using wired ribbon when you make any funky bow. Unless you don't mind if the, if the loops kind of are, are a little bit more limp. If you want them to stand up and hold their shape, use wired ribbon. Each strip of ribbon equals one loop in the 12 loop funky bow, hence 12 pieces of ribbon, strips of ribbon. So move this over here. I'm going to make my loops about five and a half inches big. And so you lay it down and you measure out five and a half inches and you pinch it together right at that point. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to that back tail and you're gonna to wanna to twist it to bring the right side forward. Then go to your second strip in my pattern of ribbon. You can see I have my ribbon laid out one next to another, not all piled on top of one another. And point that loop up also from center, center being my thumb, the center of the bow. Start the pattern over again since we only have two different ribbons. Again, measure out five and a half inches and turn that ribbon this time down, that loop down from center. Do the same thing though, go to that back tail and twist it around so that the front side is facing forward at least at this point. Then go to the next strip of ribbon, five and a half inches, point it down from center 
accordioning, according, <laughs> feeding it in there like an accordion. How about that? <laughs> side by side by side. Okay, here we go. Starting the pattern over again. And guess what we're going to do this time? We're going to turn the loop up and pinch it in with the loop pointed up from center. So each time we go through the pattern, we switch the direction of the loop. And five and a half inches and pinch. If any of you are interested, I have a funky bow cheat sheet. I will put a link in the description below for my blog where I have the PDF of the cheat sheet. Click on the blog and then scroll down until you find a PDF. Point that ribbon down or that loop down from center this time. And once again, point it down from center. At this point, I'm allowing the ribbon to kind of slide back into the crook of my fingers. And I'm not holding it all that tight. Here we go, two more times through the pattern. Five and a half inches, point that loop up from center. Back and point, twist that ribbon. This is nice ribbon here. Got this from craftoutlet.com, this blue ribbon. And this came from Hobby Lobby. And twist. One more time with the loops pointed down from center. have all of the ribbons incorporated into my hand. So next thing you want to do is take a pipe cleaner, put it under your thumb, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. Use the hand that you're holding the ribbon shut with as resistance and get the hand that you added the, all the strips in really up close as close as you can to the back of the bow pinch and twist 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 both the bow and the pipe cleaner and there we have the start of a funky bow so as i always say the most important part of any bow is the fluffing so we want to fluff 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 pulling all of the loops up from the back of the bow. And sometimes I will turn the bow over and spread out the tails a little bit. You don't have to do that, I just do that sometimes. I'm not gonna do too much more to this bow right here because the next thing I'm gonna do is Tie. First thing I'm going to do is tie a piece of ribbon into the back of the bow. Not tie it, but add it into the pipe cleaner. Because this is what I'm going to use to tie the bow onto the lantern there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a swag to put on this bow. I'm going to use some ivy. As you know, I've been using ivy around the kitchen here a little bit. Right side down, if there is a right side, which there kind of is to this. And I wanna put them close together because I might pull some of this up and into the bow, but I want a little bit of it sticking out. And I'm gonna tie them together I want them to be able to fit in that in the crook of that. You see that? I want them to so be I can able pull to that bow as close as I can get it to the lantern. So I kind of want them piled on top of each other and piled 
like, and, and I'm gonna tie wrap them together like that, hopefully. Just two tie wraps. into the back of the bow. I'm just gonna use the pipe cleaner to do this much. But then what I'm gonna do is secure it with a tie wrap through the pipe cleaner. Just to make sure that it doesn't droop and fall. here and show you this lantern though real quick for those of you who might not have seen it yet this is my then sings my soul lantern got this lantern from Kirkland's and this poor lantern caused a, a whole uproar on YouTube because <laughs> everybody loved it so much that they ordered themselves up some but the problem was when Kirkland's sent them out they everybody got their lantern and it was broken so they either sent it back or kirkland said just keep it and some like kim over there at sweet daisy creations has painted two of hers i believe cream beautiful they look beautiful i've kept mine red because i love red i always like a touch of red somewhere uh, red is one of my very favorite colors to wear and to with which to decorate so but you can see here that my cousin stacy wrote with her cricket then sings my soul then Sings My Soul is very, very special to our family. We all sing and we love to sing when we get together and as a group, as a whole group. Stacy and I do not sing duets, so don't go there. <laughs> well, we never have. I guess we could, but we never have. Uh, but this is one of the songs that we sing. And so it's very, 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 very special to me. It brings back all kinds of memories every time I look at this. I think of Stacy. I think of my family. I think of family gatherings. It brings back sweet, sweet memories. So this will stay in my decor. Just wanted to show you real quick that all I'm going to do inside, this is what I had uh, decorated up for the patriotic. Let me see if I can get it out of here. Uh, this is just a candle holder and I tie wrapped just a Pipberry ring that I made. I just made it out of an old Pipberry garland used to tie wrap to tie it together. And then I put some of these red, little red pieces in with the, I just tie wrapped them in with the Pipberries. So this is what's gonna stay in here because it matches exactly what I'm doing here. And I just have a cream colored candle and it takes three AAA batteries. This is a very old battery operated candle. This was not expensive. You can find these anywhere in craft stores and beyond. So I'm just gonna set that down right in the middle there. Okay, so that is all I'm gonna do to the inside of that lantern. And that'll look pretty. And this sits here on my kitchen counter, like I said. And, oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and tie this bow kind of swag on to this lantern. Left over right, make a loop, pull it as tight as you can get it. Make a loop with the left strip, come around it with the right. Twist to bring the right side out through the hole, and there you go. That is a square knot. Fix your loops, cut your tails up just about to the edge, and you're good to go. So that way, if you want to put this 
on this lantern again, which you've seen me be doing over and over again, then you'll have a tie to work with. Just make sure you leave your tails long enough, which I didn't do on one of them, and I had a devil of a time getting it back on. So, I'm gonna just do a couple of quick dovetails, and there we go. Okay, now let's turn this back around. And I'm gonna do a little fluffing first. Now, first thing I'm gonna do before I add anything else is I don't want this to be a big in your face funky bow topper. I really don't. I mean, I make them, sometimes I make them big and, and flouncy and full of stuff. This time, I just wanna bring some of my ivy up and into the bow and probably just add some of these red tufts. I thought about blueberries, but I really don't, now that I see this, I think I love it the way it is. I don't think I want blueberries. Now I say that, hopefully I'll stick to my guns here and not add more in. <laughs> and I love the look of the ivy in with the bow. I think that is super pretty with just a touch of the red. See, these don't have to be hard little crafts to do. You just have to have confidence in yourself and just give it a try, y'all. Just give it a try. You just never know what you might come up with. Don't ever be afraid to try, though. I hear some of you guys tell me, or I've been told, not necessarily any of you guys, but I've been told before, oh, I don't have any talent. I'm not as talented as you. I don't have a vision like you do, and this and that. Y'all, just try. Have confidence in yourself. And know that with doing, you get better and better, you know? I wasn't this good of a crafter when I was in my 20s or even my 30s, or probably my 40s, you know? And I know I've gotten better even since I've been on YouTube, just because I've done so much crafting and decorating and, you know, interacting with y'all, and y'all have given me great ideas, and some of my fellow YouTube creators have given me ideas, you know? So never be afraid, don't be too proud. Also, that's another thing, pride goes before a fall, you know? Don't ever be too proud to listen to other people. Uh, you know, not that I ever ask for suggestions. I don't. So don't give me suggestions. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I just mean that, you know, pay attention to what you're doing and be open to change. There we go. I love that. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. I love it. I do think I will take just a few little sprigs of red here and add those in though. Goodness, these are all stuck together. Gracious. Okay, let's see. I just want it peeking out. I definitely do not want it to be a, a driving force in this bow, if you will. Just a touch. I say that a lot, don't I? Just a touch. Here, there. Just a touch. Get back and look at it. I'm gonna glue those in. I'm done here. 
just a touch of blue. And the arm still says hello sometimes, like right now with this blue gun, it is not happy. Other than that, it's better. Need to get back and look at it. And I'm going to give it a chance to dry a little bit and poke at it a little bit more. Basically, that's that's it, y'all. I think it's pretty. That's it. Calling it done. Yay! And nope, I'm not going to pick up those blueberries. I'm not. I know you guys are shocked, but I'm not. <laughs> All right, let me let this dry. Then I'll get it into place, and I'll come back for some final words. Okie dokie, you guys. Here I am over here at my kitchen counter, and I'm getting ready to take my camera down and, and give you a last look at where this lantern landed and of the corner with the Pioneer Woman plate and everything. But first I wanted to come back and give you some final words here while I'm looking at you. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say thank you all so very, very much for coming back again and supporting me and for visiting with me while I put together yet another little funky bow topper. Again, I'm really enjoying this blue and white series. I love it. I love pulling the little bit of red into it here in the kitchen too. I've really enjoyed doing that. I love red. So, and I'm glad I decided to go ahead and put a touch of it in it when I saw these Pioneer Woman plates that did it for me. I was like, all oh, right, yay. Uh, but anyway, let me just say that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good. Remember, in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. <laughs> and now I'll say, with all that said, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. And I'll take you a little.